In this video, let's focus on making our topographic surface from our survey data. In this drawing, I have a survey database that contains survey information. I've inserted the points. We have some line work here that are survey figures that were made from our field finish. And we've got everything drafted and we're ready to make a surface. Well, to most topographic survey surfaces are made from two things um, if it's time to use a ground survey and that is your survey points and your break line features that you want to use. Let's see if we can make a surface and utilize some of our tools to do this more efficiently. The points is pretty straightforward typically and uh, we're going to come over here we're going to make us a new surface it's going to be empty and we're going to call it Video surface. I'm going to put it on one in five existing. <clears throat> and now we've got our surface here and it's empty. Now notice that under our definitions, we can add a point file or we can add point groups. I would recommend using point groups and we'll see why in just a moment. So in this drawing, we've also got our all points and all points off. We've got some others in here. Let's start with our all points because every survey shot we got is good, right? So let's come down to our point groups. I'm going to right click on it and hit add. I'm going to choose all points and I'm going to hit OK and add it. And then I will look at my surface and everything looks good except for what is this right here? We have a hole in our surface. Your first thoughts when you see this is might, might say, I have got a bad shot, something happened. High rod, GPS went crazy, something. But that's not the case here. I'm going to lower this down to one to five so maybe we can see it. And they, the survey crew, shot the invert of this manhole. Didn't do a measure down, but actually took a shot. So it is triangulating from this manhole down to the bottom of the manhole and back up. Now I show you this because it is my recommendation that you have a point group that you will utilize for topographic survey that is not all points that you will use for your surface so i'm going to right click and i'm going to go new and i'm going to call this uh topo in our case in the description i'll say for use in creating surface i'm going to check my styles here and I'm going to hit OK and there's nothing in it as of right now. Well in our in this case I'm going to um, begin with all the points. So I'm going to go to its properties. I'm going to include all points. And now every point in the surface is in there. I'm going to right click on properties and go to, or point groups go to its properties. And I'm going to move the all off right beneath my topo here. I got to tell it to update and we'll see no change. But as we start doing what I'm fixing to show you, we'll see some stuff disappear. Now, I want only the points that are good for surfacing in this topo. And we know that this point down here is not. And I can click this point and see that it is point number. Uh, Somewhere in here, I can see the point number 5931, as you can see here. Okay, so I can right click and go to properties, and I can go to exclude just that point number. I could type it in, or I can select it in drawing. I hit enter, and I can get rid of it. That's one way to get rid of it to directly selecting them or typing in the point numbers. <clears throat> now, you can do that, and sometimes you may have to if you've just got random data that is bad, like if it was a truly bad shot. What I recommend is that your survey field crews, if they are going to collect data and actually shoot it, reflectorless shots, inverts of manholes, things like this, that are not for topographic survey. It's important for information for engineering-wise, but it is not needed for creating a topographic surface 
that you have a descriptor or a code that you use. In our case, and my recommendation is to put DNC at the beginning of it for do not contour. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just, since this isn't in my survey group, I'm going to come down here and um, edit the code by selecting it, going to edit from list. And I'm going to put here in the raw DNC, whoops, all caps, DNC, base invert. Because remember, we have multiple codes by, by having a space. I'm going to accept that. And now that we've got that in here, I will come over to my topo, go to its properties, and I am going to exclude all descriptions that have DNC in them. So I'm going to type DNC and a asterisk for a wildcard. So it's going to say anything that has DNC at the beginning, ignore everything after it I don't care about. But if it's got DNC at the beginning, include it in my exclusion. So I'm going to hit OK. REA here, and notice that that point disappeared. Now remember that this is it disappeared for, because the point group is still there as a point, but it is not going to be in this point group. So now I'll come down here to my point groups. I'll remove this one that we put it in, and now I'm going to add the topo point group and rebuild my surface. And now we don't have that hole. Now that we've got our points in our surface, we can add our break lines. Typically, you would have in the past selected all these lines that you wanted, uh, either by right selecting them individually or right click, selecting similar, whatever you would have chosen them. Went to your break lines, right clicked, and added them. Let me show you a cool, easier way of doing it if you're using a survey database. Remember that when our styles down here under our prefixes, we had a column of break lines, whether it was or was not. That comes into play right now. So we can go to our figures. I can right click on it and go to create break lines. When I do that, it will list every figure in your drawing and it will have a checkbox whether it is or is not. These are from our styles. If I have do this, choose the drawing that I want to add it to and hit OK and give it a name. I'll call it Survey Figures. And as you can see, it's selected about them. I'm going to hit OK. And it adds them to the surface. Just that quick, just that easy, all in one swoop. So no selecting them individually and, and so forth and so on. Let me rebuild. And I can see that that's working because it's breaking along that line. So it brought them all in. So there's a little bit of extra cleanup ads and boundaries and everything. But uh, that's the basics of bringing in the points using a point group to make sure that you have only the points you want. And then utilizing the survey database to bring in all of the break lines at one time which is a whole lot faster, a whole lot easier. You do lose some of the granularity. If you had some problems, you wanted to take it out because you only have one import here. But uh, depending on the complexity of your project, typically this will be OK. You can see that each one is individual. You can still come in here and delete them manually from here rather than having a bunch of different imports. That's it. If you like this video, please click like and hit subscribe to get more as I post.